me and now, girl. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of LSPDFR, LAPD Code 3 here guys, back on with another episode here with the California Highway Patrol. And before we get this patrol started off guys, um, I want to take a moment of silence for a recent memorial for the passing of California Highway Patrol Officer um, Andre Moyer Jr. So please um, just take a moment of silence. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are cruising today, like him, like his very, like his very uh, much self. Uh, we're cruising with the CHP with the BMW 1200 RT. Uh, this is, believe it or not, one of the best bikes that they have right now today, alongside, of course, the Harley Davidson electric line bikes. But um, right now, guys, in case you know, if you're looking on your map right now, we are currently responding to. Uh, Traffic stop backup required. Are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm about the way, guys. Come on. Thank you. All right, so right now we're uh, showing ourselves of that traffic, assisting in that traffic stop. I think it's a CHP cop. Yep. I think. No, it's a sheriff. Okay, never mind. Probably one of the local sheriffs. Alright, let's see what's going on here. What's going on, man? Hey, thanks for coming along. I felt like I needed backup on this one. The vehicle came back on a fixed AMPR. Apparently, the registered owners wanted. Alright, nothing safer than backing you up. All yours. Alright, so we got them. Let's see. Hopefully, they got them. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Shots fired. Uh, he's oh, we got him. Oh, he's done. You're dead. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Check it out. It was a clean shooting, though. He got shot right in the head. Weapon is secured. Better go ahead and get corner on this. That was a really quick one right there. Backup required in Grande Sonora Desert. And guys, look, not to reenact exactly what happened, but you know it wasn't intentional to react to reenact. But um, what happened was was the same shootout happened in Riverside, California, with Officer Andre Moyer, who Officer Andre Moyer, who actually went through the same thing. He was performing the traffic stop. Citizens report A211 at uh, There was a traffic stop that went wrong. The guy pulled out his assault rifle, started opening fire, and the, from what we heard, the shootout went out for minutes, and eventually, uh, that's when he, uh, that's when his life was taken away at that moment in time after the shooting was over with. He had a. Uh, I recently just saw the memorial service and saw the. and just noticed what would happen. No one got a briefcase full of heroin, a bottle of morphine. So when I saw that, I was like, you know, I was kind of. Um, I guess you could say I was kind of emotionally. I was kind of like emo in a way, I was like emotionally driven by what happened. You know, I was emotionally driven to. you know, because given a guy like that who literally did so much for his community and for his friends and family that his life to be taken away by, um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just very, very hurt, you know, it touches a lot of people and it's very touching, but it also is very, emo you know, it's a very big, uh, big thing, you know, the people think they're just cops, people think they're just cops, you know, but they're, at the end of the day, they're human beings. They're human beings that do extraordinary things. And the things they do is, you know, 
the things they do is what really impacts the community the way they talk the way they the way they continue to provide the safety the service safety um, you know the safety and services for their community I just I can I you know I always want to say to all the uh, law enforcement officers out there if there are any ex law enforcement officers watching videos like this and they like these videos I just want to say you know you guys have done a great job to your community and you will con and I know you guys did a great job surviving report, a possible 211 at uh, Harmony. the Harmony 247 market that's way out there. Three. We'll make it there. We'll go. We'll go. Well, that's just down the road here. Okay. So we'll just respond to that. So as I was saying, you know, to all you officers out there, um, you know, much respect to all the officers out there who have done their service and have done a great job protecting their community, their friends. And I hope that you all continue to enjoy your... Uh, you know, your life as a as retired officer and happily, you know, happily married family members or just happy members of your, of your family. Enjoy your retirement, enjoy your, you know, enjoy all the time, all the time you have in life. And you only have one life, so enjoy it to the fullest. As for other officers, they're currently on the scene. Just want to say thank you guys for, you know, continuing to protect us and keep doing what you guys do. Alright, there he is. Looks like we got him right there. Alright, let's go ahead and get additional backup here. Assistance required in, uh, Harmony. Alright, we're gonna have to catch this guy because he's like he's getting right from the main road. See where he's going. Alright, this batch of shots are being fired. Hitting him with the less lethal. Hands in the air! No now! Alright, he's not he's not complying. We're gonna fire back. Put it down. Put it down. Dispatch, uh, 1015 deceased. Assistance required in Harmony. Well, that was a sure shit disappointment. We could have busted him. Unit 7, Adam 17. We have a possible 484. Looks like they got another accomplice. Looks like they had an accomplice down there. Or maybe somebody robbing them. Somebody, no, maybe. I don't know. This place is very known, is known for serious shoplifting. So we'll go ahead and check it out. Uh, officers will officers will go ahead and um, take off from here and handle the rest of the report. And we're just going to pick up on the next call out. But yeah, guys, you know, it really it pretty much tells you that, you know, life is short, things like this happening. And, you know, guys, what I'm doing here today in this video is not to, you know, not to, not to show that life is short, but to show, you know, but to honor, to honor the memories of not just Officer Andre Moyer, but uh, all the officers out there who have lost their lives in the line of duty and to... You know, not say to share the pain, but just want to, you know, want to be there for the support of all the family members who've lost their, who've lost their family members in all those calls over the many years CHP has been around. All right. Hey, officer, scumbags in the back. All right. What's going on, man? So what happened here? We just had an attempted... Is that an attempted shoplifting incident? Okay. 
Uh, luckily, we managed to catch him in the act. Stuff like this happens so often nowadays. She tried to steal $112 worth of stuff. I recently lost my job. Times are tough. I need to get some stuff for my kids. I don't have much money, so I had to try this. Can you forgive me and give me another chance, please? Well, it depends. What the hell? Yeah, it depends. You heard me. I gotta see what she got. Her name is Kayla Lo Kayla Lasan. Lasan. She's clean as far as we know, but uh we'll check with our handy dandy tablet. See what we can find on her. Oh, we're not gonna be able to find out anything on her with this. Okay, that's fine. Um Stay there! Stay there! We'll go ahead and pat her down real quick. She's got slurred speech, so she's probably a little intoxicated. But then again, with times being tough, I wouldn't blame her for being where she is. So we're checking on her right now, and it looks like she had a screwdriver and a flashlight. Some mundane objects, so we don't Hello. know exactly what's going on there. But we're going to escort her out. And um, I would say just side her for the shower thing and just leave it there. All right, so we just have you Hello. right here, ma'am. All right, so promise me that you come. Promise me that I won't get another call from here again saying that you were shoplifting. Because if I catch you again, best believe I'm putting you in cuffs next time. You understand? All right. But one thing's for sure: the man at the store. I don't think he wants you there no more. So you're being officially banned from the store. Don't let me catch you shoplifting again. Get out of here. Go on, you idiot! Get out of here! Oh, fuck! Attention, this is dispatch. Well, You're code so, you know. four. No further units required. Alright. Dispatch, uh, show us code four. Turn it back to patrol. Alright, it's getting to be a night patrol, so... I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Oh, hang on. Alright, starting to look like a little night patrol here, guys. So we'll go ahead and uh, continue on with patrol here. We're going to go ahead and get into the freeway where we're going to be able to do uh, some radar. Hopefully we can catch somebody in the act. Now normally I don't think I've ever seen California Highway Patrol vehicles be doing night patrols with their motorcycles due to the fact that it's, you know, it's dark and it's dangerous and it's a, uh, and thinking that, you know, as well as a, uh, it's a very dangerous, it's very dangerous for them to do it because, it's, you know, anybody, it's nighttime, massive amount of drunk drivers, anybody can easily knock a, knock a, knock a, uh, what is it? They can easily knock a, 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 uh, an officer out of their bike and hurt and throw them right against the trees or something. And that's how most California Highway Patrol accidents always occurs by because of drunk drivers or because people are recklessly driving. So we're going to find a nice little spot here and uh, do a little radar. Unfortunately, I had to take away my radar gun because it was bugging and there was no way I could get it to use it on inside the vehicle. So I officially took the radar gun out. I will be installing a new radar soon. So hopefully that will work. In the meantime, we're going to be sticking with the classic traffic police or one that we used for many vehicles. So we'll do our radar. Hopefully we'll catch somebody hitting over 70. Right now the speed is about uh, 60, I believe. Yeah, I'd say about 60. So, 68. We'll catch somebody doing over 70, we'll pull them over, but 68 is fine. 62. Campers. 60. 62, 63. Never know what you're gonna find out here, guys. Literally, with these guys, 61, 
Dang, I thought I'd be catching some serious people going out of here. Doing over 60. Like doing at least 70 right now. Sixty-three owners wanted. All right. All right. Let's see here. This batch seven, Mary seventeen is gonna be making a traffic stop with a uh, looks to be a Virgo, black Virgo. Uh, owners wanted and uh, speeding. All right, let's go ahead and get a plate and check on him. You know, the owner's wanted, but we're going to see who's the owner. Dispatch, I'll run the 29 for me, 42, Paul Union, John, 706. Suspect's license plate. Matthew Jefferson. 42, Paul Union, John, 706. A warrant issued. Proceed with caution. Alright, let's go ahead and roll additional. Backup needed and Sanchez. If we're lucky, this is Matthew Jefferson sitting right in that car. Copy that. On the way. Copy that. We're in the vicinity. You're fully surrounded. Alright, driver, get out of the vehicle, place your hands up and back up slowly, back up slowly. Stay right where you are, get on your knees, interlock your fingers. Stay there, don't move. I got him, guys. You are under arrest. Alright, let's see here. You got anything on you, man? What's your name? Matthew? What? Jefferson? Alright. Oh, man, the reason why, well, Matthew, the reason why, man, you're being arrested right now is because you have a warrant, man. Did you know about that? You didn't know nothing about that? Okay. He's got a police stick on him. Okay, Matthew Jefferson, born 729, 1960. But this doesn't look like him. This might have been because this might be a, he might have just went through a face change. Well, then again, it might have been a warrant from a long time ago. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get all that taken care of as soon as I get in there. Let's see what we got in here. Once we get on my bike, I'll take a look. Uh, I found nunchucks, which is very illegal to carry in without a, without a special weapons permit. And I'm bleeding through the car, no surprise. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get a toast truck out of here for this vehicle. Since we registered his name. Alright, so go ahead and pull our little handy dandy California Highway Patrol tablet. Run it through. And it looks like he's got an arrest warrant for driving the wrong way. So for right, basically reckless driving. So we got him for reckless driving. Assistance required in, so we'll go ahead and get transport for him, which is him right here. The nunchucks are obviously going to be confiscated uh, for evidence. Other than that, um, you know, it's going to be confiscated since it's technically a dangerous weapon in the state. Of, with that, like I said, without a special... Dispatch calling unit 7, mm -hmm. Adam 17. We have a petty theft in Grande Sonora Desert. What is it with the... What is it with the damn... Um, Shoplifters today, literally. Thank you. Window shoplifting was more like it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and respond uh, to the shoplift to the set this second shoplifting call today. So we'll go ahead and respond. 
I'm gonna go ahead and respond code three. And then once I get there, I'll go back to code two. I believe they call it a code three atom when they don't use lights and siren when they don't use sirens. Dispatch 7 Mary 17 1097. Alright, let's go see what's going on. This is the second person. If it's the same her, she's going to jail. How you doing, ma'am? They're in the back? Okay, thank you. I'll take it from here. Oh, that's a different dude here. What's going on, man? So, what's going on today? What, what you find? An attempt to shoplifting incident. Found that $118 worth of stealing. Literally triple digits everything. Uh, lies, you asshole. Why the fuck did this store get dedicated security? I need to head over downtown to get my police stuff now. And shoplifting isn't a crime. These retailers are the criminals here. Yeah, haven't you seen the price, the recent prices, officer? No wonder shopping is so common. Scrooges. But I wasn't doing that. There's just no one around. This guy's lying. Well, if he's lying, if he's lying, I'm an eagle. But we'll see. Sylvester Moriaro. Alright. Hold up! Go ahead and turn around, man. Keep your interlock your fingers. Stay right where you are, okay? Don't reach for anything. You got warrants? Not sure? Okay, that's fine. Ooh, oh, we found a legal prescription pill. So we got a pill. So we got a, a little bottle of pills here with no name on it. So that's definitely illegal. Okay. Hello. Alright, buddy. Come with me. We'll see what else he got on him with the interaction plus. We'll probably pick up something on him. And we'll handle the situation code four once we uh, identify what he has on him. Hello. You're mine now. So once we have the inverse of his information on him. So Sylvester Moriaro, as far as we know, is not wanted. So, what's he doing to him? Dude, chill. What are you doing to him? Officer, stop. Stop. Damn it. What are you doing? I'm gonna chew you up. Are you done? Freaking police brutality over here? Just take him in. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable, just literally getting into a scuffle with a guy that's handcuffed. Alright. Moriaro. Let's see. Is it possible that I can do this uh, drug kit here? I should have a drug kit. I should. Yeah, I should definitely. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, illegal... Illegal... Prescription. Legal prescription pills. Pill bottle. Legal prescription pill bottle. Okay. Alright then, so I guess that's going to conclude it, guys. Let's go ahead and get back on patrol and code for this. I almost said this was gonna conclude the episode, but trust me, guys, we still got like one, still got one more good bust out there somewhere, and I'm, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can call it in. Officers there we go. Suspect resisting arrest on Sonora Freeway. That's what I was waiting on. Copy that. We're in the vicinity. Dispatch. Perfect sight. Assistance needed on Sonora Freeway. Backup needed on um. Sonora Freeway. Dispatch, right. we got eyes. We're in pursuit. Dispatch, we have a visual. We got a couple of unis right now in pursuit of him. Looks to be a black, uh... What is it, like a black alpha or a black Asia? Something like that? What is that? Oh, that's a Karen. 
That's a Karen. Oh, they're running, they're running. We got run one we got one running, one running. Dispatch one is one is running, dispatch. Oh good roll, good tuck and roll. And he's heading right for the he's an idiot. He's heading right for the right for the prison. Uh wrong guy to shoot. Got him. Stop, 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 stop stay right there. there. Stay there. Stay there. You got him? I got you. Katsudo Katashi. Let's see what we got on him. Oh, uh, he's clean. Alright. Did they get the other one? Oh, they actually apprehended the, the other guy. Okay, so that concludes the pursuit there. Now we just gotta go back up there to the hill if we can if we're actually if we even find it. Like Alright, they got her. Oh, what the hell was the that? Country on Earth doesn't take kindly to criminal scum. All right, so we'll go ahead and get a transport for him. Assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. We'll go ahead and dismiss them. So what's this vehicle that they pulled over? Is it still here? Okay, there it is, right there. All right, so we're gonna check on it real quick, and then we'll get a tow truck for it. I'm gonna play check on it real quick. It's gonna be uh, let's see, two, three, Ocean Union, Young, five, three, nine. Stop running me over. Two, three, Ocean Union, Young, five, three, nine, no, ten, ninety-nine. Right, let's go ahead and search the vehicle. See if we find anything here. Got a baggy suspicious clear crystals. Alright, now let's go ahead and tow this. Thanks. Tow truck, backup needed on um, Sonora Freeway. Okay, yeah, this is my bike right here. Go ahead and move out the way here. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, that was actually a pretty decent one. I think we could have did better on the patrol. See if they got us another one for us. Dispatch calling unit 7 out of 17. We have a 1099 in Grande Sonora Desert. Alright, so we're getting called of another traffic stop that just happened right behind us on the other side of the, the, other side of the lanes. So we're going to have to find a long way around there. Or maybe we'll take a shortcut. I can be, we can, we can bend a little bit. We can bend a little, little bit. Just let's not make a habit of it, right guys? <laughs> Alright, so right now there should be a traffic stop with the sheriff's office or highway patrol right in front of us coming up. So let's hope to God that everything goes smooth and everyone gets to go back home. Dispatch uh, 7 Mary 17 1097. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, what's going on, man? Thanks for coming along. I pulled over this driver because they, for the way they were driving, I'm suspicious they may be intoxicated by their failure to maintain lanes. Got a bad vibe out of it, so I hope you don't mind backing me up on this. Alright, go ahead, man. So what you find? I think I can smell alcohol or something. 
You might want to go check to see what you and see what you think. Maybe you could run a breath test on them too. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, we go shift O. I remember what was it? Was it control O? I believe that's the one. Let me see. No, that's the drugalizer. Okay. Hold up. All right. Maybe we'll do it this way. Damn, he looks drunk as a skunk. He looks drunk as a skunk. We'll do my breathalyzer test. And we're showing signs of a regular breathing. Thank you. He pulled a he blowed a 1.93. Alrighty. Go ahead and turn around, you sir. Are under arrest. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Alright. Go ahead and uh, get a score for him first. Let's pat him down, make sure he doesn't uh, he's not carrying anything illegal before we put him in the vehicle. Any drugs, guns, knives, anything like that on you? Got a, what is it with the police stick today? Unbelievable, guys. We're getting all these police sticks. Damien Skrillex. Huh. So I don't think Skrillex will be happy to see to know that you took his name, buddy. Alright, let's go ahead and search the vehicle real quick. See what we find in here. A samurai bowling ball clown outfit. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get a transport, which should be this guy parked next to me. Assistance needed nope. in it looks like it's gonna be uh, an actual another Grand sheriff transport. Yeah, I think it's gonna be another one. How you doing? What the? All right, so he's going in for scum. he's going in for DUI right now. Let's go ahead and get this vehicle towed. Flatbed backup required in uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Thanks so much. Right, and I think we got him from here. Thank you. All righty, did we get them all? All right, I think we got probably one last call for us guys, and then probably give be uh, ten seven for the night. Citizens report a possible 211 at uh, Earl's Mini Mart. Units respond code 3. We've got a robbery in progress at Earl's Mini Mart. <laughs> Dispatch uh, suspect is fleeing right now and appears to be a oh I'll drive F six twenty. I'll drive F six twenty. Is he dumb as hell right now? I think he's dumb as hell. He's a lost member, okay. Let's go. Alright, we need to go ahead and chase him. 
We have a suspect on the run in Grand Sonora Desert. if I can catch him and if we're lucky we can actually catch him yeah um, cause I'm not taking that road so we're gonna go around let's get a helicopter in the air just to make sure helicopter assistance needed on um Sonora freeway dispatch we have the suspect heading north alright so we got him heading north so looks like he's trying to head back into the freeway I don't want to use the offer, but right now at this point I don't have a choice. Go ahead and uh, roll additional officers here. Assistance needed in uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Sonora is going here. Copy that, dispatch. Roger, dispatch, we are oh. en route. Dispatch, suspect located. Moving to engage. See where he's going from here. Just trying to trap him in. Unless we bait him in. Oh, we got officers over there. I got him. Nope, he's mine. Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp in pursuit. The point taser. Anything you say, Cannon will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you can't afford to find an attorney, if you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state of California. Do you understand the rights I've been giving to you today? Alright. Get him out of here. Assistance needed in Sandy Shores. Hey, I can't bust. Hey, I can't put him in the back of my squad car. Shoot. Well, that was pretty good. Um, thing is that he ditched the vehicle back there at the gas station. Actually, I think we came around full circle back to the gas station. But I don't know if the vehicle is still there. I'm pretty sure it despawned. So, goes our opportunity. Right out the window. Alright. Alright guys, well, I think this is going to conclude our California Highway Patrol for today. I want to thank everybody for watching and um, thank you all for the moment of silence we've had for uh, one uh, officer, Andre Moyer. And I hope that, you know, for everyone out there, you know, always don't, remember they're not the bad guys here. They're just doing their jobs, the job that they get paid to do. and. Never, never, you know, if, when, when, when the lights are flashing, clear the way. Give them room. Don't be a dick. Because if you are, these guys right here, they're, they're, they're just, like I said, they're just doing their jobs and they're all, wanting, and they're all ready to go back home soon. You know, they all have a home to get back to, families to get back to. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe smash that like button leave some comments below some feedback on what you thought of the patrol and as always guys i will catch you on the next one until then take care